Hi, I'm Cody at Wall Street Breakdown here on YouTube. You should feel free to click the subscribe button so you can get all your financial news from this pretty face right here. Why the heck not, right? I know something that you probably don't find too interesting, but I know I like it a lot. And that's economic indicators. And we got a couple out of them out of the United States today. A couple of them. Two of them. Two big ones, in fact. The jobs for August... Jobs for August were estimated to add about 185,000. See, prior, the month prior, the month prior to August, the seventh month of the year, July, they added 178,000. So an estimate of 185,000 seems pretty viable, right? You think 185,000, a couple extra summer jobs out there, doesn't that make sense? Well, of course it does. But the jobs number came in today at 237,000 for the month of August. That straight blew that estimate out of the water. That's what we like to see. Because we keep talking about how the U.S. economy is doing really well. So we want these little indicators on top of a really good earnings season to reaffirm to us that we're doing really well. Now, a lot of those jobs were added in the service sector. I know what you're thinking. Service sector, it's pretty low paying, but you know what? The fact of the matter is, is that there's jobs out there, which gives people options. And our unemployment numbers, well, yours in the United States, are really low. Options are a fantastic thing to have. And with your jobs number growing like that, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go but up. The United States is doing great. You're in the middle of thriving right now. I hope people in the U.S. really see the forest for the trees. Because this definitely is the fruit of all your labors from the past. What? You guys went through a lot. Let's face it. <laughs> the, the, the first part of the aughts weren't the greatest in the United States. There was a, there was a bubble that burst. There was also a problem in 2001. There was also all those problems in 2008 that carried forward for a long time, crushing a lot of companies that didn't deserve it. And it was a long road back from that. It was a long time to get industry to stop leaving the United States. And now you have American companies and international companies setting up shop in the U.S. It's favorable for them to do that. That's what we want. So what was the other number we got today, you wonder? You like economic indicators, right? I just get you psyched about it, isn't it? The jobs is crazy, but GDP beat as well. So your gross domestic product was estimated to be 2.8%. 2.8% growth in, in, in the GDP is already really good. The prior was 2.6, so again, they were overestimating what they previously did, but it came in at 3%, so it beat the estimate again. So we got a beat on the jobs, a beat on the GDP, and another check mark in the box that says the United States economy is roaring along, please, please. While the money flows and the lending is easy, please don't over leverage yourself. Make sure you're socking some of this money away. Make sure that you're out there doing your due diligence with your finances. I got your back. Your financial advisor has your back too. But you got to have your back first and foremost. Don't be one of those guys who says, just give me one more boom and I swear I won't spend it all. Don't do that. Don't spend this one. Be smart with your money. Retire early. Be financially frugal if you have to. And remember, subscribe to Wall Street Breakdown.